in a dark room. Quality is not good, but it has to be this way. You'll see why. Uh, all right, so we have this transparency. Basically, it's black. The, the negative there uh, will be what the ink is going to be. In order to do that, we take out a screen. So this silk screen has emulsion already on it, already here. Not going to get into that today. But we're going to take this design and we want to burn this design into the screen. And wash it out with water and then what you'll have is uh, whatever's left is uh, will allow ink to go through. So I have a couple things set up here that I use to make this quick. I have this here, T-square, tapes on both sides, tape is on both sides so that I can easily line this up. Now this is the back side of the screen. So I'm going to flip this over so it's backwards because when you look at it, this is going to be flipped over to put on the shirt. So I want to make sure that's backwards. I also want to use my tape marks that I did. And just make sure I'm lined up there. Just kind of go in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect um, as far as up and down goes. Left and right we want it perfect because when we put it in, or as good as possible because when we put it in the, um, the press, uh, we want that to just be easy to line up. So I'm just using this as my guide, and then I'm going to go to the letters. Just confirm that this is lined up straight across, because it's possible the print's a little bit crooked. We don't want it crooked on the on the actual so screen press. All right, so that's lined up. Move this. You can tape that with clear tape, but I found that makes some marks. So I'm going to put this piece over. This is just plexiglass. Uh, usually like to use glass. You want to weigh it, weigh it down because you don't want any gap between the film and the emulsion because any light that gets in there will ruin the sensor. All right, so then I'm going to put this down here in my makeshift uh, makeshift uh, dark room. So that's the UV light. And I did a lot of testing for this to dial it in. Uh, pretty much we want the UV light to go for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And when that's done, uh, I'll show you what we do next. But this is effectively going to harden all of the area around um, the black. The black is stopping that light from penetrating through, which effectively uh, means the screen will wash out there. That's what it's called. So we'll show you that in a bit. 30 seconds is up. I'm going to take this glass out. I'm going to take this sheet out, put that right there. And then the thing that I want to do real quick before any light hits it is just kind of squirt this down from both sides. And really, that's just going to, that helps it start to wash out. Um, so if there is any light, can you see that? See how it's starting to show it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's already starting to show that. And that's, I walk outside and just use a hose to, to get rid of it. I don't have a full setup here. So uh, that's just one of the things that I found that makes it easier to do that. So now we're going to walk outside. Maybe. And hose this thing out. You, you want to use full force with this. <laughs> see how that goes and then what I like to do is just rub the back you don't want to be aggressive too aggressive with this but you can see some of this stuff if you zoom in you can see some of the stuff coming off the back the water didn't get that so I just kind of rub with my finger if you use like a pad or something it can actually take off the other emulsion that's not fully hardened so just do this
you see it? No. It's good. Is that good? Um, so where we have the transparency is not as dark as the outside because the transparency does block a little bit of light. It still allows you to wash it out, but it's not as hard. So what I'm going to do now is just sit it out in the sun and let the sun fully bake this thing all together. And you'll see, you can see the different colors there. When we come back out, this will all be the same color and it'll all be hardened. Just make sure there are no spots that were missed. You can see I just used some, some of the tape. This is just the blackout tape that you use for the outside um, just to fill up a couple, a couple holes there. So, all right, so we checked all that. We're good. Now we're going to put some ink on here. I use water-based. Water-based doesn't uh, have as much of a feel, like uh, when you feel the shirt and it feels like plastic, that's plastisol ink. So anyway, I use water-based. It does vary like with the shirts, how it covers. Because if you have a blended shirt, the, uh, the ink doesn't absorb the water-based the same way. Plastisol. <clears throat> it sits on top of the shirt. With water based, this actually gets put, pushed into the shirt and, the, and it dyes the shirt. That's the difference between water based ink and plastisol ink. So, all right, and then I, what we want to do here is we want to flood the screen. It's called flooding the screen. So you just kind of low pressure, that's flooding it. So you put the, that on there. And then there, are, you can pull, push, all different things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it this way to flood it and then push back to push the ink through the screen and that's how this works. So if you come underneath here and see, you can see how there's, that ink is actually loaded in the screen, it's in between, right? And as I push it through, it's gonna push that ink in that, uh, um, that thickness onto the shirt. That's how it's gonna work. So we're gonna see in a second how that works. I can't really see it from over there. Oh, there we go, this side's, all right. All right, so you see how it's off of the shirt? You know, so as she's flooding the screen up here, flooding it, that's not actually touching the shirt because it sits off of it like that. And then you'll see as she pushes it down, what happens? And you just gotta make sure you always push down the same way. You see how that went away? You can barely see it there. But. I'm gonna check it because I've like loaded it. I feel like all right. Looks good. Okay. It's kind of hard to see because there's very little gap, but wanted you to see what, so what actually happens and how it sits off of the shirt a little bit so that when you flood it, it doesn't actually put the ink on there. It doesn't put the ink on the shirt until you press down and push it through. This way. And you see there. I'm just going to show you here real quick. That's one pass. So if you look at that down there, not real. Not real light, it's one pass. So again, water-based ink doesn't sit on top of the shirt. So we want to do multiple passes. And again, this pass like this floods the screen. And I'm just pushing it through with that. And you can actually feel it get pushed through. Now that looks better, right? <laughs> so I did usually do four passes with the water-based. <clears throat> so I'm gonna hit this with a heat gun. A water-based ink has to evaporate in order for it to cure. I just wanna flash cure it right now because we're gonna, going to put it into the heat press for a full cure. I'll show you that in a second. But if I don't set this a little bit, it'll come off when we put it into the, uh, the heat press. Just moving it across. So it's not coming off on my finger, so that's enough. Now, again, this is a test shirt, now we're gonna take it. So we're gonna use the heat press to cure. I'm just gonna throw that in there right now. Uh, so the thing with the heat press is, push it down, gonna have it be uh, 40 seconds. This 370 is not really true. This heat press is uh, usually about 30 degrees different. I just know that from testing, but, uh, the ink has to evaporate when you heat press it. There's nowhere for that um, water that evaporates to go. So you have to do this in a couple different, uh, 
shots, and you'll see that in a second. So this is the first pass. Let's watch what happens. So you see that steam coming up? That's the evaporation. That's why you have to do it in a couple different hits. So you, you heat it up, and then you let it evaporate, and then you hit it again. If this doesn't evaporate, it doesn't cure. So water-based ink needs to evaporate. The moisture has to get out of it for it to cure. I had a, some ink on the table here from like, I don't know, three or four weeks ago. Still got it on my hands because it didn't cure. So this is very important. Otherwise, when you wash it, all the ink's going to come off. So you have to set the ink. Alright, let that out again. And one of the things with the heat press, you can see how it actually presses a little a line in the shirt. And I'm not pushing down, there's not a lot of weight on this. I just let it sit to cure these, because it's not actually heat pressing, it's, we're just using it to cure the shirt and the ink. So what I do is just kind of shake it out, it can bulk up. But in the first wash, that goes away no matter what. Nope, that's the wrong side. Let's see, there you go. What? Yeah, you're fine. Very cool. Alright, so now you know. Bang, bang. Alright, so showed the way to do it with emulsion, which is green. This is actually vinyl. I used the Cricut. Uh, the the uh, design didn't have a whole lot of detail, so I was able to do this, but you have to pluck the vinyl out. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain, but again, if you have a design that doesn't have a ton of detail, this is another way you can do it without going through the emulsion process and um, having a UV light and stuff. But just wanted to show you a different different thing. You want to do it mirrored and put it on the back side so that this side's still smooth. Uh, but you can that's another way that you can screen print as well. And it works, small runs, prototypes, that kind of stuff.